okay welcome to this particular session actually uh, we are starting our subject so i am going to teach you computer graphic subject in this particular semester so in computer graphics you can learn many things and many aspects of computer graphics so today's session the agenda of today's session is uh, we will discuss syllabus of it how i mean what are the topics of the computer graphics as well as today we'll start the chapter number 1 that is nothing but introduction to computer graphics now first of all we will have the highlights in the syllabus from the syllabus so in the computer graphic syllabus there are total 6 chapters and those chapters are beginning from basic to the advance basic till the advance now the first chapter of computer graphics that is introduction and overview of graphic system so in this particular uh, chapter we, i will introduce you what is meant by graphic system what are the input and output devices of the graphic system how graphic system works what is the internal structure of it what are the basic concepts of computer graphic system so many things we will have in this particular chapter that is nothing but introduction and overview of the graphic system again in this particular chapter we will discuss applications of graphic system now in second chapter the name of the second chapter is output primitives actually in output primitives we will discuss various algorithms of computer graphics to draw line circle point ellipse and many more so actually primitives means it is a basic element a basic element for example whenever we are learning any language at that time initially uh, if suppose you are learning english so initially you are drawing the points line standing line sleeping line then curves and circle so in computer graphics also the graphics is made up from such type of basic uh, objects so that is called as output primitives so in case of second chapter computer graphics the output primitives like circle uh, means uh, we can have the algorithm to draw circle to draw line to draw point to draw ellipse and to draw character so that all types of algorithms we can uh, discuss into this particular output primitives now third chapter it is nothing but two dimensional geometric transformations so after learning the basic objects after learning basic primitives we will move towards the transformation uh whenever we are designing any graphic system at that time uh, initially you have to draw the uh, object after drawing the object you have to provide the moment of moment to the that particular object so the moments and uh, the change in the shape or size of the object that is discussed in the two dimensional geometric transformation so we'll discuss various 2d transformations there are five transformations that we are going to discuss into chapter number 3 that is nothing but rotation uh, translation scaling reflection and shear then next fourth chapter is two dimensional viewing and clipping so after having the transformations in next chapter we are going to discuss two dimensional viewing and clipping so if you are at the particular place and in between you and the object if suppose some other object is in between so some part may be clipped or uh, sometimes in the area if you are interested in some area you can uh, remove the object or you, you can remove the part of the object that is called as viewing and clipping so you can remove the unwanted part and you can keep the wanted part so there are many algorithms in two dimensional viewing and clipping so that we'll discuss so in computer graphics generally there are so many algorithms there are many algorithms we have to learn and we have to derive Uh, algorithm for them also now in chapter number 5 there is a three dimensional geometric transformations normally whenever we are starting so initially it is based on or it is depend on two dimensional now it is moving towards three dimensional so in chapter number 5 we will discuss three dimensional geometric transformation so earlier in chapter number 3 here you can see uh, we have discussed two dimensional geometric transformation but now in chapter number 5 we are moving towards the three dimensional geometric transformation as well as uh, in chapter number 5 we will discuss various 
3D object representation methods. Means how 3D object can be represented in the computer system. Uh, then we will discuss various curves and fractals. So that is the some advanced uh, part of this particular syllabus. After having the chapter number five, in chapter number six, there is a, a point like visible surface detection and animation. So in visible surface detection, you can remove the part which will be uh, which is hidden due to some other object. So you can remove based on some algorithms. So there are many algorithms for visible surface detection. And finally, we will have the discussion of animation. So normally animation means uh, giving, uh, as I have told, uh, we have begin from output primitives, means it is nothing but we can draw the simple objects. Uh, then we will have the some transformations. So animation means giving life to the object. If you can draw some object into computer, and if you provide path or you, if you provide you uh, provide some life means some moments or some other uh, activities so that is can be called as animation so we'll discuss in detail various animation techniques or how to perform the animation so this is all about the syllabus of computer graphics it is starting from the beginning uh, it is starting from the basic things then it is moving towards the advanced things and finally till the animation it will be ended so total six chapters you have. So computer graphics, as yesterday I have told, this particular subject having 80 marks uh, theory exam, 20 marks internal exam, so total 100 marks uh, as an exam, then 25 marks term work and 25 marks oral practical. So practical uh, practicals are based on those particular algorithms. There are many algorithms we have to learn and we have to implement those algorithms as a practical. Uh, using C or C++ or Java, you can implement it and uh, you can understand what are the various algorithms in better way. Now we'll begin with the first chapter that is nothing but our introduction and overview of the graphic system. Now, first of all, introduction to graphics, computer graphics. We know that in today, uh, day, miss, in everyday life, we are using the graphics directly or indirectly. As we know, there are many applications, apps we are using. So that apps are uh, uh, based on some graphic system or graphical representation. Similarly, we are using websites. So those websites are using some graphics. So in daily life, directly or indirectly, at many places, we are dealing with the computer graphics. Now, what exactly mean by computer graphics? So normally, uh, we can say that graphics, computer graphics means the graphics are the objects drawn with the help of computer that can be called as computer graphics. So definition here, you can see the definition. Uh, the first definition is like computer graphics. It is a study of methods for digitally synthesizing and manipulating visual content. So it is nothing but computer graphics. It is a study of methods for digitally synthesizing and manipulating visual content. So how the visual content can be manipulated or synthesized. Synthesize means create. And there are various methods of it for digitally creating the object as well as manipulating means changing the object, changing visual content that is called as computer graphics. So this is the definition of computer graphics. But normally in easy way, simply you can say creation and manipulation of visual content or graphics using computer that is called as computer graphics. So simple definition you can uh, remember. Uh, whenever we are learning, uh, whenever we have started to learn the computer, so basically first application that we have learned is the paint. So in paint, we have drawn various objects like line, triangle, rectangle, re circle, and then we have filled the uh, filled color into that. So that is nothing but you are creating something by using computer. The same diagram you can uh, create on the paper. So that is not computer graphics. Whenever you are using computer into the creation or changing or manipulation of the visual content, whatever you will see on the desktop, that is called as computer graphics. So this is the definition you must remember. Once again, I will elaborate it. Computer graphics, it is nothing but the study of methods. Methods means various methods or various techniques for digitally synthesizing because we are creating it digitally. We are not creating it on the paper, right? We are creating it digitally on the computer using computer 
and we are manipulating means we are changing we are modifying the visual content that is called as computer graphics so you can remember the definition simple definition or uh, this definition as a computer graphics now uh, the computer graphics as i have told there are many applications of computer graphics in every day at every place we are using because of mobile uh, everyone is using the mobile and in mobile uh, we are playing games we are uh, uh, using various applications uh, we are browsing the data so at that time the graphics comes into picture directly or indirectly so directly you can say uh, we are watching some uh, cartoon movies so that is also some uh, application of computer graphics so directly indirectly we are uh, definitely using computer graphics in da daily life so what are different applications of computer graphics that i am going to elaborate the first application of computer graphics that is games and entertainment uh, as we know as i have told games so we are playing various games uh, like counter strike maybe football uh, maybe cricket through our mobile or through our desktop so that is the first application of computer graphics so computer graphics uh, application is games and entertainment next application of computer graphics that is the scientific visualization so i will discuss it in detail later i will uh, list out the applications of computer graphics first games and entertainment second is scientific visualization afterwards it is a medical visualization then it is special effects and uh, you have art as a computer application then you have computer aided design as a application of computer graphics and uh, also you have data visualization as a computer graphics application and you have image processing as a computer graphics application before going into detail those applications we are using in a daily life for example as i have told you can uh, play games on your mobile or desktop so that is the first application you are watching movie cartoon movies there are some special effects uh, used into the movie that is nothing but entertainment application as entertainment then scientific visualization uh, if suppose i want to see uh, some means uh, the cut section of brain it is not possible directly i uh, means in actual way but you can see it on computer you can see it on mobile so that is called as scientific visualization or uh, you can say it is medical visualization in scientific visualization uh we can draw the suppose solar system if uh, the solar system is represented in a, co a computer so that is nothing but called as scientific visualization then one more thing is special effects uh, many movies they are using the special effects and based on that special effects uh, the movie or uh, the particular scene got some extra weightage so that is called as special effects now art if you are drawing some paintings with the help of computer if you are creating some objects 3d objects uh, that may be as a art then computer aided design if suppose you are uh, designing some car or uh, if you are designing some internal structure internal part of it so that is by using computer you can draw then data visualization in case of uh, uh, any match a cricket match they are showing you the data visualization how many runs in over number 1 over number 2 over number 3 what is the wagon wheel of the player player so that is data visualization and finally it is image processing uh, we are uh, means in mobile phone uh, we are using image processing various image processing applications and we are modifying our photograph if suppose we have taken the photograph we can change background so we can add some extra effects into it so that is nothing but the part of image processing so all the applications we are using directly indirectly and the reach is because of the mobile phones uh, everyone is having the mobile phone and uh, in mobile phone they are having various applications and those applications are using the computer graphics directly or indirectly now we are beginning with the first that is nothing but games and entertainment there are two examples i have shown the first one is tangled movie the first one is tangled movie the tangled movie it is the part of entertainment so the all the characters of that movie even the scene even the background even the sequence it is created and manipulated by computer only thing that is added is voice by the human and all other means all other things like background uh, characters the moments mo and many other things are 
generated with the help of computer so this is how we are dealing with the entertainment application there are many uh, movies those are created and manipulated by computer it's a uh, computer by computer using computer so for example uh, one example is tangled movie shrek movies uh, finding nemo that is one more movie and many other cartoon movies uh, we are uh, we know that then as a games this is now a integral part of everyone uh, we are playing the games whenever we have some time uh, it may be racing game in this picture you can see the uh, racing game again there are some counter strike like game pubg like games and i think everyone has played that game so this is nothing but the first and major application of computer graphics as a games and entertainment now second application of computer graphics uh, that i have told it is scientific visualization so what do you mean by scientific visualization see in scientific visualization whatever uh, analysis done by uh, means uh, the researchers that can be created as a model 3d model and it can be shown on the computer directly it is not possible if suppose for example cut section of earth it is not possible to show you actually but the model can be prepared based on the data based on the uh, uh, generated uh, some observations and they can uh, be ready in terms of cross section or cut section of earth and you can easily identify which is the internal part of earth what will be the second layer third layer what will be the final layer so this is possible because of the representation of a data representation of things on the computer based model so this is nothing but example called as scientific visualization another example of scientific visualization is we know that in solar system there are uh, eight now it is eight uh, uh, now means like earth moon uh, then there are jupiter saturn and many things are available in solar system and that solar system can be represented as a model in the computer they are moving around the sun actually it is not possible to see those objects moving around the sun because they are moving by so many so much of distance uh, so many or so many lakhs of distance so it is not possible to watch them together but this is possible by making the model into the computer and showing them how they are moving around the sun uh, around the sun how earth is moving around the sun how uranus is moving around the sun how jupiter is moving how saturn is moving so all those objects can be shown as a computer model based on the data available means what is the uh, elliptical orbit they are following and how they are moving whether they are moving on their axis uh, uh, around themselves uh, how they are moving around the sun so this is possible only because of the computer otherwise uh, we can't show anything Uh, means if i am saying uh, if suppose this picture is not in front of you and if uh, i am saying that yeah he is uh, um, rotating around this this is rotating around that so nobody can understand that much but for better understanding and better uh, show, showing the better results and better understanding you can create such models and you can show them to the persons who are learning it so that is nothing but called as scientific visualization also example of galaxies it is not possible to see galaxy in one picture but because of the computer and because of some uh, data available that is created in the computer as a computer model and we can see the galaxies number of galaxies so this is nothing but by example as a scientific visualization after scientific visualization another ap application of computer graphics that is nothing but medical visualization as i have told it is not possible to show the solar system in one uh, or nobody can see in actual uh, but by using computer model you can easily identify or you can easily see that similarly in medical visualization if suppose i want to show you some cut section of human body uh, means that is very difficult to uh, watch even but if i am showing it with the help of computer it is easy to see and easy to learn so for example here is the brain actual brain means uh, that is difficult to see 
but if you create the model by using computer you can identify the parts of it you can easily learn the parts of a human brain how it is working what is the working of it so that is called as medical visualization so here is the heart uh, heart all the parts of a heart can be visualized by using this particular visualization now see here with this help uh, how, uh, with this particular animation you can see how the uh, working of heart uh, means how it is pumping what is the working of it and it can be easily identify and anybody can see it but actual heart uh, very few people can see it but uh, this particular representation can be uh, watched as well as learned by all of us so it is possible because of the visualization that is called as medical visualization after medical visualization next application of computer graphics that is nothing but special effects uh, if you are taking any movie hindi or any in other languages hollywood bollywood movies all the movies are using special effects uh, you can see if the hero is uh, giving one punch to the car even car the car will fly in air uh, 10 feet 20 feet away so that is not possible in actual uh, if uh, if you put some punch on car your hand may get fracture and that is possible means such type of effects is possible due to the modification done using computer so that is called as special effects for example here is the example this scene is from bahubali movie and in that movie you can see the uh, means particular character is holding a boy in water but this scene is shooted in actual environment like this so this is the actual above one is actual shooting this particular object is replaced by this uh, uh, means small child and that is modified so this is nothing but called as special effects so everyone knows bahubali movie then other movies like avatar movie so those movies are using very much special effects special effects so this is one more application of computer graphics now next application of computer graphics that is art now what do you mean by art if you are creating some artistic view using computer for example if you are creating some paintings by using computer so that will be the art computer art and it is application of computer graphics if suppose you are creating some uh, monument by using computer that is called as computer art so you can use it see this this particular painting it is created by using computer so it is application of computer graphics nowadays instead of using pen and pen, I means pen and brush the painters are using the computer and they are using some special devices uh, to create the graphics then next this is the monument or taj mahal it is created by using computer graphics only this is not actual picture it is created by using computer graphics the outline of it the uh, means all the things from this particular image it is created by using computer graphics now next application of computer graphics that is computer aided design now for example uh, i would like to elaborate it more computer aided design if suppose i want to build a building in few years back if i want to build a building at that time i am drawing some drawing on the paper and i am showing it to the person who want, who is interested to buy it but nowadays because of the computer you can even show the internal structure of the building you can show how that building will look actually uh, after uh, building it uh, after completion so all those is possible because of computer aided design even the building is not completed even the building is not built at that particular place then also you can visualize the actual uh, miss actual thing uh, like our actual building how it looks from inside from outside <clears throat> what is the structure of it where is the uh, other things i means where is the parking and where is the road all those things can be easily uh, miss easily understood so that is possible because of computer aided design similarly uh, using computer you can uh, design 
the various parts of the car various parts of the aeroplane or many other objects so see here in the first picture you can see this is nothing but the cut section of the building so this is designed by using computer and here anybody can easily visualize where is the uh, living room dining room where is the uh, bedroom and where is the entrance uh, what will be the uh, means lift so all those things can be easily understood easily identified and easily visualized and this is made of by, or it is prepared by using computer so that is one example of computer aided design another is this is cut section or this is the model of car it is created by using computer and using computer it is possible to synthesize the model you can analyze the model and you can test the model so in actual environment how that particular model will work so every thing will be means synthesized as well as uh, tested into the computer environment and then actual design will be done actual uh, building of that particular uh, car or any object will be done and it will be tested in actual environment but before that it can be tested inside the computer environment by using some models by using some softwares and those softwares are giving the results how it will work into the actual environment so this is possible due to the computer and ultimately it is nothing but application of computer graphics as a computer aided design after computer aided design the next application of computer graphics that is called as data visualization now as i have given the example of data visualization if suppose i want to draw a draw a graph of the rainfall in the city in last 5 years last 10 years uh, month wise i can show it to uh, by using the graphical representation similarly in cricket matches they are showing the data visualization of the batsman as a wagon wheel as a run scored in per over so how many times he out on zero or many many other data datas can be shown so this is nothing but example of data visualization so see the first example of data visualization it is the share market example so share market it is uh, changing uh, means going up going down increasing some uh, uh, top gainers top losers so this can be visualized or this can be shown based on the data coming as a graph so this is called as data visualization similarly another data visualization is this is the scoreboard in which you can see this data visualization as a runs per over then uh, who is scoring who is batting and uh, what is the relation between the already played and uh, the chasing team so this is nothing but the scoreboard you can see as a data visualization so what is the need of data visualization by seeing the graphical representation human being can easily intercept easily understand what is the trend if suppose i am uh, showing you uh, for example take example of uh, sensex or uh, take example of share market so in that case if i said okay uh, at a 9 o'clock the uh, point was 28000 then it goes to 28600 then it goes to so if all the data minute wise data if you see into excel sheet or into uh, data sheet nobody can identify whether it is going up whether it is going down but if you represent it by using the graphical representation definitely uh, anybody can easily understand how much Uh, it is going up or going down how it is fluctuating so all the data can be uh, understood so means human being can uh, analyze the data graphically more than the analytically or you can say uh, miss the numeric form in instead of numeric form form you can have the graphical form and human being can easily understand identify uh, the graphical form so that most of the times uh, we are representing the data into graphical form so that it is better to understand or you can compare it easily so that is possible as a application of computer graphics uh, as a application as a data visualization after data visualization next application of image, uh, computer graphics that is image processing so what do you mean by image processing image processing means you can modify the image you can add some contrast into the image you can add 
uh, some information to the image you can uh, remove the background you can add the background uh, you can have addition of colors you can change the colors of it you can change uh, color image into black and white image you can change black and white image into means color image into hsv image and many many more changes you can do <clears throat> so i think there are many applications they are using the image processing as a, a tool or as a backend so for example uh, we know that snapchat is one example so where uh, we are using the image processing another example is photo lab so where we are changing our actual photograph into some painting so they are using image processing at the back end and base they are performing some operation on image and they are modifying the image so this is nothing but example of image processing here i am showing you some examples how the image can be modified and for example this is nothing but image negative actual image is black and white suppose and uh, it is converted as a reverse or it is reversed whatever black part it is considered converted as a white part and whatever white part it is converted as a black part so many uh, many uh, modifications of image can be done you can add the contrast you can modify you can increase the contrast uh, as well as uh, you can do the many such uh, processing so that is called as image processing and ultimately it is application of computer graphics so many applications we have discussed till now once again i will just go through it for your understanding so we have discussed various applications of computer graphics it is starting from the games and entertainment then it goes to scientific visualization uh, we have discussed medical visualization then it comes to special special effects how special effects can be applied then it is art then computer aided design data visualization and image processing so those many applications we have discussed so this is the but introduction of computer graphics uh, we have defined the computer graphics this is the definition of computer graphics and uh, we have discussed the syllabus of computer graphics so now we'll begin or we'll continue this into next session how computer graphics are introduction to computer graphics in next lecture we'll discuss what are various input devices output devices how they are working what is the internal structure of it and uh, we will continue the uh, next point as well so this is about the introduction of computer graphics and application of computer graphics so we'll stop here thank you for joining